Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy McMahon, with me is Gorilla Mezzo, and welcome to the card for Tables, Ladders and Chairs. Oh my, that's right, we are kicking off a championship-filled uh, pay-per-view tonight, and we are going to do it with the co-founder of shit himself, Scaramezzo. He negotiated his a way in to this pay-per-view for him and all his guys with Mr. Jim McMahon, an uneasy alliance, if you will. Scuro really wants to start the show off hot with a big win to prove that the members of shit, the Scaramezzo High Intensity Tournament, uh, have a place in professional wrestling and can really make a card sing. But to do so, he's going to have to beat a mystery opponent of Mr. Jim McMahon's personal pick. Uh, gotta believe he's got something nefarious up his sleeve. Can't wait to see what it is. Will Scaramezzo start shit off right? We'll find out later tonight. Yeah, it's not a backstage brawl, so not in his favorite mm. environment, Scuro. And uh, uh, it's been confirmed to not be Tony Plays Pearly, but other than that, we just don't know. Absolutely. And now our first championship match of the night, the Plim Plom Pluserweight Championship, a triple threat TLC. And look, folks, if you need me now to explain how good the Plim Plom Pluserweight Championship matches always end up being, then you haven't been watching every single week of JFW action because they are always great. And as no surprise, this one's going to be amazing too. Just Joe, your Plim Plom Pluserweight Champion, basically handed the title for his affiliation with Mighty AF, hashtag Corporate AF, uh, stole it away from Muppet Pac-Man, if you ask me. Muppet then fired, never had a shot back at it, but has been on a tear going right through Just Joe in the Scaramezzo High Intensity Tournament. He's back for a title match, but to do so, he's going to have to get past Just Joe. And who's this guy? The Blue Bomber recently signed by Mr. Jim's McMahon. Oh, fuck this alarm. <laughs> <laughs> Recently signed by Mr. Jim's McMahon to away from Scaramezzo, a personal friend of Scaramezzo who brought him into the shit tournament. He has already fought his way into a championship match. This should be a wild one. Three incredible plim plom pluserweights. Jim, hold the phone for two seconds while I shut this alarm off. Okie dokie, well thank you very much Gorilla And uh, after that we've got the culmination of the rivalry Between Flicky Flack and Dave, Dave. <laughs> Here we go, a grudge match for the ages Flicky Flack overheard slandering Dave When his job was on the line Talk about kicking a guy while he's down Flicky Flack saying Dave deserved to be fired Out of nowhere, had no reason to say it But you know what, he was caught on tape And that made its way back to Dave And Dave was not fired. He won that Royal Rumble in inexplicably at the last pay-per-view. Incredible <laughs> stuff. And now he's calling Flicky out for his for his uh, words. And what we're getting here is a one-on-one -on -one grudge match. Oh, Going to yeah. be a wild one. Jim, what is the stipulation? It is a table match. Just a normal table match. Normal table match. Why does it say one-on-one -on -one match? Don't, don't say that now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a table match. I don't know why it says that. It's stupid. It's a shit game. Okay. <laughs> fair, fair enough. Uh, all right. And next up, here's a wild one. Fatal 4-Way Extreme Elimination Match. We all, we all love these Fatal 4-Way Extreme Elimination Matches. And this one was a previously unannounced match. We are seeing four guys from four weight classes all who have made their fa made their presence known in the Skurmetsos High Intensity Tournament, none of which are actual shit signings, though. Purple Chest, the he uh, the super heavyweight, Volcayo, the light heavyweight, Unseen Walker, the heavyweight, and Labred Mask, the Plim Plum Pluserweight. I did that completely backwards. Doesn't even matter because <laughs> this one is going to be absolutely insane. Yeah, can't wait to see. Can't wait to see the new signings and the old hands go at it. It should be very good and very, very SHT related. <laughs> All right, and now a huge match: the Chaos Chosen, Rick Reckless, Bezel, and Flapfart against 
Shawnee, Calcium, and Squirrel Dude, three light heavyweights. This one takes a little explanation. You may remember the Chaos Chosen Championship. Uh, the, the Chaos Chosen Championship being around Rick's waist for months now. That used to be a light heavyweight. <laughs> used to be a light heavyweight. Uh, uh, division no longer the case. Rick Reckless clearly weight classed out of it, and no one seems to want to go for that belt and the corruptive powers around it. So Shawnee, Calcium, and Squirrel Dude banded together to put together the Wem Dope Championship, a new light heavyweight division, and they have negotiated a clause to this match. If they can win this six-man TLC tag match, that belt will be the official light heavyweight championship belt and if they cannot that belt will cease to exist so we're gonna have to wait and see if shawnee calcium and squirrel dude can come away with a huge win and rebrand the light heavyweight division for the future of the jfw that sounds that sounds very exciting and they could do it in a tlc match can't they i mean you would think in a normal match they would get battered by flat fart and rick but anything can happen in tlc all right, and here's the match almost everyone watching this has been waiting for, and there's no reason not to. A five-man table match. It's Frost Lord, it's Ardvac, it's Thaw and Marcel buying for table leg wangers, extra arms belt, and guess what? It's not just the first man through the table. No, no. The man walking out with that belt tonight will have to withstand four tables, all four guys that will get eliminated if they're thrown through a table will have to walk away empty-handed. And this one proves to be just completely off the wall. Ardvac, of course, uh, no one really needs to recount his story with the Money in the Ass contract and his history with Table Leg Wanger. But then you've got the recently returning Thaw, who has been on an absolute tear since fell to Ardvac in the shit tournament and of course you've got hashtag corporate AF that's mighty AF's frost lord army who's been continually contending for that belt has yet to to seize the prize could tonight be his night and then of course you can see it in his eyes right now folks Marcel McDaniels having one of the greatest table match performances of all time uh, just a few weeks ago got picked to go into this match could he be the upset of the century i am praying for that one that should be wild <laughs> yeah absolutely it'd be incredible he's already done it once can he do it again and finally your main event six man tlc triple tag you've got the heart and soul of the jfw johnny five Satterfield, the unnatural snackers taking on the current champs. Tony plays poorly in Clavius. These guys have been going at it for months, it seems now. J5 and Satterfield uh, had a bit of a moment two weeks ago where J5 had given up. Satterfield talked him off the ledge, and they are back for one last go. Will they taste gold? And hey, what is that? I see those two big hats of the former two heads champions added into this match. Lean Guerra and Oriolensis spoiling the party by winning that match. I really thought Dress for Business was finally going to have their day. But on Friday night, it was Lean Guerra and Oriolensis who were able to win that table or that ladder match and get added to this main event match. This one is going to be a match for the ages. And again, that two heads championship division is just a plus stuff and whoever walks away tonight will be crowned one of the greatest of all time in my opinion absolutely yeah it's going to be epic isn't it of course tony did not win the uh the title with clavius it was frost lord that won the title but the free bird rules are in effect so any member of my ef can can defend the title and seeing as uh just joe is defending his plimp on blues away title and frost lord is going for the eab title tony has had the night off from defending his his world championship belt and is teaming up with clavius to defend yep how convenient is that i mean i mean i wouldn't want anything to take away from this main event but it is a bit of a shame to not have a world heavyweight title match uh, on this show as well anyway i don't want to end it on a down note this could not be a bigger main event and we are going to see some of the best of the best in the tag division climbing up a ladder and which one of them is going to get their greedy little hands or little feet in satterfield's case <laughs> on that on that belt we're going to find out in just a few hours i cannot wait 
Jims, thanks so much for having me as always. Everyone, I will see you at the start of the show. Thanks again. And my name is Gorilla Metso, and I cannot wait for this pay-per-view. Glorious. Thank you very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.